driving to Moab to get some climbing in before we come to California. We will be there in like seven days. Cannot wait. Can't wait to see you, sister. We are so excited. See you soon. Bye. Whew. Hey, everybody. Oh, that tractor is awesome. Farming is no joke. So, anyway, thanks for joining. Um, we are going to talk a little bit about compliance today. So, I hope you guys are um, have your questions and are thinking about it and are ready. Um, so, first and foremost, this is an over overview and a commentary of what we have learned regarding the permitting process here in Humboldt County in the state of California. This is not legal advice and we encourage anyone to do their own research and to seek help from qualified professionals. So on that note, uh, my husband and I are proud residents and community members of Humboldt County. The local government has demonstrated its readiness to embrace the cannabis industry and it, and in its transition to legalize marijuana into the mainstream world of business and agriculture. Last year, the County of Humboldt passed the CMMLUO, or Commercial Medical Marijuana Land Use Ordinance, number 2559. It was the first of its kind in the state and has created a platform for many other counties and municipalities that are using and creating their own versions of this particular law. It is important that anyone here in Humboldt County who is pursuing a permit personally read this law and truly understand it for themselves, even if they have hired professionals to help them. The idea for this ordinance was to treat cannabis cultivation and related activities like any other activity and help to minimize negative impacts from it on the community and environment. As farmers and community members, we are enthusiastic about the opportunities this change brings. Now that we have a clean set of rules to follow, we can be transparent in about our operations with policymakers, enforcement, enforcement officers, neighbors, and our community. I can't even tell you how big that is. I, at some point in time, I would like to go into it, but hiding, hiding what you do from everyone is very, very heartbreaking. So this is just a really monumental time in life for us to finally come out and, and be a part of the community and support it and yay, love it. It has always been our intention to leave the world a better place than we found it. Um, as community members, we're enthusiastic about the opportunities that this change brings. And now that we have a clean set of rules to follow, we can be more transparent. With this said, we are going, there are going to be growing pains for everyone involved. We continue to struggle, to struggle with the misconceptions about the impacts of cultivation and cannabis at large. <clears throat> While we believe that the creators of these laws have, been, have the best intention in mind, we must understand that there is political process at play and that there will be and always have been compromise from all stakeholders for true progress to be made. The transition that we and many follow and the transition that we and many fellow farmers and cannabis operators are making is not an easy path. We are attempting to hit a constantly moving target with complete compliance from all applicable agencies. Many of these rules and regulations have changed or are now yet again being developed. We must do our best to anticipate where the regulations will land and try to be positioned so that we are ready for them. Based on our experiences, it is our opinion that there may be regulatory overreach and regulatory creep by some of these agencies in an attempt to assert jurisdiction and power over the issue that other agricultural operators may not be burdened by. We experience an attitude from both private and public gatekeepers that anyone involved in cannabis industry must have buckets of cash buried in the hills and that they should be willing and ready to pay the premium 
for products and services. For some fortunate enterprising folks, this may be true. Most farmers are just trying to make it work so that they can retain their valued helpers and continue operations. We must accept that there will be exceptions to operate at a much higher standard than other established industries and that much larger and possibly harmful impacts socially and environmentally. For this, unfortunately, we can thank the black market legacy and reputation that cannabis has traditionally been associated with. We as farmers must change this reputation by providing, by proving it wrong and setting an impeccable example. If we do not, the industry will be taken from small operations and handed to fewer, larger companies, organizations that can, for increased oversight and regulation, pay. Fewer, larger organizations are easier also to regulate in taxes. So the following list is a constantly changing, but maybe we hopefully have it complete for you. It includes county departments and state agencies that require some sort of compliance with cannabis operators. Kuzumo Senpa in my DeLorean. War is over on my peace time DeLorean. The story is dumb. Star Wars historians deep in debate, but they play at Benegas. Rhyme renegade, show to penetrate first and second defense. I won't hesitate. Got a job to do when Darcy got the delegates. Got something against Skywalker, someone he really hates. I don't give a fuck. I'm at your solo for all I carry. Could be hiding at Yoda's dojo. Gotta make the money. Credit's no good when a job is run a shop in your neighborhood. Thank you, King Cook. I got a grappling hook. Let's make this quick, cause I'm really booked. I'm a devious to Jedi. Red Defender of the Devil Shut down all the trash compactors on the d touching level My backpacks got jets Well I'm Boba, all the fat Well I bounty hunt for Java Hut To finance my bet Well I chill in deep space A mask is over my face Well I deliver the prize but I still narrow my eyes Cause my time I don't like to waste Get down, I'm a question rep inside Enigma Get inside a slave one, find your home and signal From Endor to Hoth, Ripley to Spock I'll find what you want but there's gonna be a cost Say my name is Boba Fett, I know my shit is tight We may have missed some, so use due diligence in determining which agencies will be needed to notify about your particular project. Our point is, is that it is a complicated process and it is likely that successful cannabis operators will need to have a dedicated compliance officer who can not only work to procure the necessarily permit, necessary permits, but also continue to work to maintain compliance. Once a permit is granted, there will likely be ongoing requirements for the reporting of data that will be demonstrated to continue commitment to compliance for all applicable agencies. In conclusion, for the farmer who decides that compliance is the path that they will choose, our advice is to do your homework. Accept compromise, follow the rules, and set an impeccable example. And last and most importantly, be grateful because there's so many people who push for this to happen and here we are. Gives me the chills. So anyway, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Our next video is gonna be the effects on our economy. I'm really excited about it and I'm really excited for my sister to be here because once she's here, we can stop doing so much work. <laughs> it never ends. Anyway, thank you guys always. You're greatly appreciated and I gotta go get cleaned up because it's time to party. So, hey everybody, tonight we're here at Body High Pole Studio with Miss Marie and her dancers. It's Friday night, let's be crazy. Ah.